Well, what's this important thing you want me to know? Nick, I... The Arby's down the street closed yesterday. <laughs> nice try, Fluff. You almost got me. I just got a deep fried turkey club from there a few days ago. Your nose is twitching. So that means... Arby's isn't really closed, is it? Yes. Yes, it is. No! I can't believe you said that! Nick, the food isn't even that good. Please tell me I heard wrong! Why, Judy? Why? It's all greasy and soggy. It's like they microwave leftovers and sell it as fresh. Uh, what am I supposed to take to eat at work or for our picnics? What other place makes gyros like they do, Judy? Who can compete? You pass like five places between here and work. There's even a Hardee's. They're practically the same. Hardee's doesn't sell gyros or potato cakes, Judy! I... <sighs> even like Arby's Nick at all. You always said how much you like the curly fries, the milkshakes, hell even the potato cakes. You told me you loved them. I guess that was all a lie? I liked them before you brought it home four days a week. Before you started offering to take me on picnics and only bringing Arby's. I've had so many loaded Italian subs this month that the doctor is worried about me, Nick. No animal should have that much fast food. I told my mother how often you bring home curly fries and she started crying. I had to listen to my own mother cry on the phone. Well, I'd cry if I found out I created something with as poor taste as you. We can eat at other places. We could start buying groceries. It's not normal to eat this much Arby's. You're a medical anomaly. You need to stop trying to challenge God. Nick? Judy? Uh, what would have happened if your mother, while pregnant with you, had eaten things like McDonald's every day? That doesn't make any sense. Neither has anything you've said. I can't imagine life without their smokehouse brisket. I'd rather die than know I had to go on without their savory, fresh meats and spices. They're sliders, Judy! They're so small but so packed with flavor! They're like only this big! Nick, don't go away. You're right, they're so small. Let's talk more about this. Does it even matter to you how hard they work to make those? How much time, effort, blood, sweat, and tears goes into making a burger so small but so tasty? Nothing could be as mouth-watering as anything Arby's has given me. Goodbye, Judy. Oh, Nick! Where are you going? To be honest, I'm thinking Arby's.